So these are words from uh, late Congressman John Lewis, uh, excerpts from his uh, address at the Edmund Pettus Bridge, uh, March 7, 2015, uh, the 50th anniversary of the march uh, across the bridge with some supplemental comments that, uh, that he made in response to CNN. And this is set to October Trump. My beloved brothers and sisters, members of the American family on this day, we as a nation have a great deal to be thankful for. Jimmy Lee Jackson, Jimmy Lee Jackson, whose death inspired the Selma March, along with so many others, did not make it to see this day. But you and I are here. We can bear witness to the distance we have come and the progress we have made in 50 years. And we must use this moment to recommit ourselves to do all we can to finish the work. There's still work left to be done. Get out there and push and pull until we redeem the soul of America. I tell you, it's good to be in Selma one more time. Just one more time. People often ask me, why do you come back? What purpose does it serve? We come to Selma to be renewed. We come to be inspired. We come to be reminded that we must do the work that justice and equality call us to do. On March 7th, 1965, on that day, on that day, 600 people marched into history walking two by two down the sidewalk, not interfering with the free flow of trade and commerce, not interfering with traffic, with a kind of military discipline. We were so peaceful, so quiet, no one saying a word. We were beaten, tear gas. Some of us was left bloody right here on this bridge. 17 of us were hospitalized that day. But we never became bitter or hostile. We kept believing that the truth we stood for would have the final say. This city on the banks of the Alabama River gave birth to a movement that changed this nation forever. Our country will never, ever be the same because of what happened on this bridge. Eight days after Bloody Sunday, the President of the United States, Lyndon Baines Johnson, delivered one of the most meaningful speeches ever made by any president on the question of voting rights. He said, the time of justice has now come. I believe sincerely that no force can hold it back. He went on to say, it is right in the eyes of man and God that it should come. He said, at times history and faith meet at a single time and a single place to shape a turning point 
in man's unending search for freedom. He went on to say, so it was at Lexington and Concord, so it was at Appomattox, so it was in Selma, Alabama. Each of us must go back to our homes after this celebration and build on the legacy of the march in 1965. The Selma movement is saying today that we all can be doing something. So I say to you, don't give up on the things that have great meaning to you. Don't get lost in a sea of despair. Stand up for what you believe because in the final analysis, we are one people, one family, the human family. We all live in the same house, the American house, the world house. We're black, we're white, we are Hispanic, Asian American, Native American, but we're one people. We must go out and vote like we never ever voted before. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. We're going to continue to fight. We must use the vote as a nonviolent instrument or tool to redeem the soul of America. We got to make America better for all of her people when no one is left out or left behind because of their race, their color, because of where they grew up or where they were born. We're one people, we're one family. To each and every one of you, especially you young people. Go out there, speak up, speak out. Get in the way, get in good trouble, necessary trouble, and help redeem the soul of America.